Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an adjustment layer for Final Cut. Now, as you can see, I have my adjustment layer here already applied to my timeline. I'm using Dehancer Pro, which is a film emulation plugin, and I didn't want to have to go through and apply it to all the individual clips. So an adjustment layer is perfect for putting this down on top of those clips so you can then apply it once and then adjust your um, color and your brightness as you wish underneath that adjustment layer inside your clips individually. To create an adjustment layer, you're gonna need Motion, and Motion is available from the App Store. It's about $49, about 49 UK pounds. Once you've installed it and you open it up, you wanna create a Final Cut title. So click on this here, and then your preset needs to be the same as your timeline. So I'm shooting in 4K at 24p, so I'm gonna select 4K, I'm gonna select 24 FPS, and then your duration can be anything between 10 and 20 seconds. I've set mine at 20. Click open. Once this page opens, you then want to select up here where it says type text here. So select that and just hit the delete key on your keyboard. And then the next thing you need to do is go to file, save as, and then name it. I would suggest naming it adjustment layer and then your frame rate. And then I'm gonna make mine version two because I've already created one and then add it to a category. Now I have already created an adjustment layers category. You can go ahead and create your new category. Either call it adjustment layers or whatever you wish. I'm gonna select adjustment layers, leave theme the same, click publish. So come out of motion. So go back into Final Cut. And then once you're back in Final Cut, so you'll find your adjustment layers in the title pull down up here. So this is where your footage is. And then at the end, you have your titles and generators, and then your folder you created will be in here somewhere. I named mine adjustment layers. So we can then click on our adjustment layer, drag it onto our timeline. It's gonna put it on top of my original one, just so you can see. Then you can just drag those ends out just to sort of match the length of your project. So really, it's as simple as that, creating an adjustment layer inside Final Cut. I hope you found this useful. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and ring that bell if you'd like to be notified of future videos. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.